Hello everyone and welcome to this guide and tutorial for the Golden Shot Glenmonarch Estate Edition. Difficulty level is hard and now I do believe that we have been getting an easy one for the hard one. So if I would be the decision maker here, I would be definitely be taking this one as an easy one and then take the other one as a hard one. But in the end, I do think this is a very good opportunity for you to bag some berserkers uh, to get you that opportunity to drive uh, to get give you a good good drive or a long drive on a fairway on the regular tour play or especially in the tournament so going to be able to win some chests here you do win uh, you do get one free shot have that in mind even though it doesn't show there on my screen that is because i've already taken my free, uh, free shot on the medium one so then if you have been spending your free shot then you can buy more shots one shot for one dollar and five six shot for five dollars so Going to play here with the Golden Wood Club with an accuracy of 51. I'm going to play with the Golden Long Iron with an accuracy of 66. The ball has power 1, so it's important that you have your notes for a power 1 ball. So we are, as you can see here on the screen, you do have the numbers for maximum, medium and minimum uh, distance of your club. And the numbers are taken from golfclashnotebook.io. So we start off here, we're going to get some tailwind. And what do we do then? We do want to go for the rough bump, but we're going to be in between clubs. So we need to play ourselves from that position there. Otherwise, we will have to underpower a shot. So as you can see there with my setup, I having the red ring just slightly in the rough there on the right. Uh, basically just, yeah, as you can see, a tiny, tiny little bit. And the white ring just uh, cutting the top of the fairway there. Two bars of top spin, two bars of side spin to the right. And that is because I do have some uh, side wind together with the tailwind. Even though we do have tailwind, you need to use some top spin, otherwise, we're going to go short. Get it to bounce and we get it to roll. We're going to use the right side here, coming in nicely and getting very, very close to making a hole in one. And of course the win that we do want to get is that we do want to get the win so we can make a rough bump. With some tailwind it's going to be tough to be accurate enough to get the hole in one. Even though it's absolutely possible to get that. So we start off with getting the yellow chest and which I'm very happy with. And if you're having tailwind again I'm say I will be saying it more times in this video then you play it by bouncing with your long iron. And then if you have headwind or sidewind, then you play it by bouncing in the rough just by the green. So we're going to st get the next shot here. The second shot, we're going to have some tailwind again. And now we're going to have even more sidewind there. And this is, of course, going to be a little bit trickier. We do decide to go with a little bit more topspin here. And as you can see on my setup, it's going to be basically the same, just a little bit more to the right uh, of the rough with our red ring. And we're going to adjust to 6.9 with a long iron in maximum distance. And we're going to adjust this one for almost four rings. So 3.8 rings around that. And now we're going to take our shot. So have in mind from this particular distance with the long iron, you adjust for the long iron for being in maximum distance. And in the rough there, you're going to adjust for your wood club to be in minimum distance. As you can see, we're using too much of top spin there. We need to remove that half a bar that we did apply on that particular shot. So two bars of top spin, stay with that and don't take more than that. So now we tried it at least. Now we know we did get go to come in a little bit too hot. So now we do have some tailwind again for shot number three. And I, I promise you there will be some shots for... Uh, some headwind as well. So I think it's a good mix that we're going to play with here. So again, we're going to have it to cut the rough on the right side. We're going to have it to cut the rough on the top there. Might, uh, and also as you see on the second bounce of the ball guideline, we are on the right side of the green. That is because we do want to use the green to be pushed in to the left to get that hole in one. 7.9 is going to be a little bit more than four rings, like 4.1, 4.2 rings while adjusting for uh, the long iron in maximum distance and now we do need to hit our ball perfect and we do which is awesome Now we're going to come in. We're still going to come in a little bit too much to the left Didn't get that extra push that we want to still bagging a nice chest here still coming in nicely to the pin Even though we are a little bit too much to the right didn't get that push into the left that again that we want to so uh, And this hole I will have to say it can be played um 
a little bit differently of course going with tail uh, tailwind but i do feel it's uh, it consistent while going with two bars of top spin and also two bars of side spin to the right if having like crosswind left to right i would be taking uh, taking one bar of my shot like of the right side spin to just like take that away because we're still going to get that push with the crosswind there so now we get some headwind here we're going to go with just a tiny little bit more than two bars of top spin no side spin or a uh, to the left or to the right whatsoever as you will be able to see we are in minimum distance of our wood club which is going to be 2.56 per ring so we're going to adjust this one for approximately like around two and a half rings uh, two and a half 2.6 maybe something like that rings and now we're going to make the bounce there in the rough to get, our, uh, get ourselves close to the pin. Make it bounce and now we're going to roll up here towards the pin and we're going to be close. We're taking the red one and we are very happy with that shot. Getting the right distance as well without like falling too short, falling too long, like very much spot on with the distance there of our shot. Still a little bit too much to the right that we need to, uh, to counter for now when it comes to the last shots here so we do have two more shots to go i think if i'm not remember it incorrectly and again you can see with every chest that you do get then you're get, going to get a berser uh, some uh, type of berserker so two shots left to go i'm going to have some head slash side wind again a little bit more cross wind or like side wind than we had for the fur for the earlier shot but in the end we're going to play it exactly the same way going to make sure that our ball guy line is basically uh, aiming there on the right side of the green 6.6 .6, we're going to give this one again uh, around two and a half rings and then we just want our ball to um, just want to ball our ball to go uh, as we wanted to to be pushed in there as you can see we went with like 2.2 2.3 rings instead as i said two and a half and we're going to come in here but we are going to be pushed pushed too much to the left so we need to stay accurate with our adjustment there so we do under adjust our shot a little bit more and i do believe with a proper adjustment we would be getting the hole in one there at least very very close so last but not least we do have one more shot to go and i now would you really want to have the hole in one and of course it's nice to get all the chests but we are going for that hole in, uh, going for that chest that we do get if making a hole in one because it's going to be uh, good cards in it it's going to give us um going to give us uh, nine berserker balls and think that is the best part of it nine berserker balls then you can play yourself uh, through a whole tournament uh with uh with the berserker balls that you do have so that is how i'm actually thinking on my other accounts like if i'm going to pay for more shots then i'm going to uh, pay for shots on an account that is need that needs berserker for a tournament like for my uh, for my second uh master account for an example to give myself that room to play with berserkers if i want to in the tournament two and a half rings with 6.3 as you can see like with 6.6 .6, we did go with 2.2 we slightly under adjusted it and now we slightly over adjusted it so we need to go with like 2.4 rings in that way uh, as again we're going to be pushed out too much to the left even though we are very very close so we need to take instead of 2.5 2.4 but that is like technicalities like small things in the end like that gives you that hole in one but in the end this is an easy golden shot and i say easy because usually those one that we do have on on um, on when it's a difficulty level hard it's, it's very very tough to even like get a couple of the shares but now we should be very disappointed if we wouldn't get a chess but now you ha do have two ways to play it one with tailwind and one with some headwind slash sidewind as well and that is important for me to show you that because otherwise you're going to be like oh how are we going to play it if we're going to have tailwind do we on the power do we like overpower etc etc so please make a comment in the comment section below with what you got in your chest and so make some noise and good luck playing the golden shot